This is Brian Savard for MPHawks.com. I'm here with New Paul's head cross-country coach, Mike Trunkus. Uh, you know, your women's team placed fifth at the conference championships for two straight years, uh, which is tied for the best finish in program history. What all needs to happen this year for your women's team to climb up the conference standings? Um, for the women to move up into the top four, um, Nicole Wishoff, uh, Amanda Wolfer, and uh, Teresa Warch, who have traditionally been our top three, have to perform at the same level that they've been performing at in, in more recent meets, uh, especially at Conn College. I mean, the, the three of them put together phenomenal efforts. Um, I mean, we basically outscored the top three of Oneonta with our top three. Um, pretty comfortably. Uh, it's four or five that are going to have to really pick it up to uh, close down the gap. And I think if we compete well in the four or five slots, um, then we're going to be in a much better shape to move ourselves up in the conference against both, uh, I think, both Cortland and um, Oneonta. Now, uh, Nicole's already running faster than she did last year. Um, you know, she set the program record again, and she appears to stack up well against the conference's top runners. Uh, what sort of an outlook and race plan does she have going into uh, this weekend's race? <laughs> Nicole has one strategy. She's just go hard. <laughs> That's the kind of runner she is. Uh, she's really well rested. She, I know she's feeling great. She's really excited about this opportunity. Um, you know, she's going to be going up great competition. Uh, Rachel Malone from Brockport is, is phenomenal. Um, you know, Plattsburgh, Kelly Driscoll has been running great uh, pretty consistently. And Geneseo always has some really good runners. Cassie Goodman's very good. And, um, you know, it's always a competitive meet, so, you know, anything can happen. But I think Nicole's been really consistent and she's rested and, and she's really, you know, psyched for this particular race. So, uh, you know, expect big things from her. Beyond Nicole, who else should factor into your team's scoring? Um, living in the shadows of Nicole this past three years has been Amanda Wolfer and you know from a progressional standpoint Amanda has run faster than Nicole each year <laughs> in, in their freshman respective freshman uh, sophomore and junior years. Uh, Amanda uh, has run 22:35 just recently at Conn College, uh, legit, you know, 6K course, and um, I mean that was faster than Nicole had run at that at that time of the year in Nicole's junior year. So I'm expecting to see, you know, Amanda run a really strong performance. Uh, you know, I believe she can be uh, comfortably in the top 15 at at, at the conference meet and uh, maybe even sneak into the top 10, but. Um, She's uh, she's been consistently strong throughout, so uh, we expect you know some good performances from her. Um, Teresa Woich, same thing. She's running great, and as a sophomore, she's <laughs> she's run faster than both Amanda and Nicole as a, as a freshman and a and a now a sophomore. So uh, she's been running excellent. She ran a great race at uh, Conn College. So again, I expect her to you know, be really competitive. And then to round out the four and five slot pretty consistently, it's been uh, Kelly Mahoney and Bridget Joskow. And those guys both cracked 24 minutes at uh, Conn College. So, um, you know, we're looking to see some improvement from them as well. Um, but what's really exciting about the women's team is we have so much depth. I mean, we have basically 14 women under 25 minutes and 30 seconds. And 10 of those women have run under 25 minutes. So, um, Rachel Levy ran 24:21 and fell down at Conn College during the race, um, so she has the potential to push under 24 minutes. Um, uh, Danielle Halikius, she was at 24:40, uh, big breakthrough race for her. I uh, expect to see uh, a, you know a really strong performance from her as well. And uh, you know Andrea Prusik has been hovering around 24:30. I don't really think she's had a big breakout race yet. Um, and Jesse Putnam, who's been overcoming some anemia problems early in the season, she's gotten under 25 minutes, and, and she's uh, she's potentially you know a strong finish for us. So so we really have you know some depth uh, uh, beyond the you know top one through five that can really help push push us into better position. I'm hoping uh, you know get help us get a stronger four or five finish. Now, on the men's side, you have a lot more depth than you had last year. 
Uh, what are your expectations for the men's team heading into this uh, weekend at SUNYAX? Yeah. Our men, you know, our men, it's just, it's a completely different, almost a completely different roster. I mean, yes, we have folks from, uh, guys from last year's uh, roster on the team, but, you know, uh, with the addition of Rob Gorski and Josh Greenberg, um, Mike Scher really stepping up as a, you know, as a, as a sophomore runner and, and being much stronger. Uh, Omar Griffin, who, who transferred in out of Baruch last spring, has been really solid for us. Um, he, you know, Ty, uh, Tyler Hubler has been great. Jeremy Mulvey is, you know, looking really strong as a sophomore. We've got a good group of guys, sophomore guys, that have been running real well. So, um, you know, you know, every race, every weekend, it's been a little different. But you know, it's it. it it appears that you know this year with the group that we have overall our team average will be significantly better than it has been in the past and we'll have an opportunity to push a lot more guys under 27 minutes which is you know an enormous improvement from previous years now you have a lot of parity this year um, as five different people has, have served as your top runner at meet so far this season now how does this parity factor into a successful SUNYAC meet well, it's given, you know, the reason why it's kind of switched up is we've rested some people at different times during the season. It's really hard to run a lot of 8K races, so different individuals have taken, you know, meets off, and uh, it's given other guys an opportunity to step up and, you know, lead the team. So I think it just helps with confidence to know that, hey, you know, it, I have the ability to perform at a high level and lead the team. And if you have several guys that are feeling like they could be team, you know, the team leader on any given day, um, I think it just, you know, it's general confidence all around. And it, and it also creates a little more competitive, you know, uh, atmosphere within the race because everybody wants to be the top dog at the end of the day. Great. Well, uh, great job so far this season, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you.